Hey there, welcome to the Electronics channel. In this video, I want to talk about source transformations. And these are basically versions of Thevenin's theorem or Norton's theorem. These source transformations allow conversion from a voltage source with a series impedance into a current source with a parallel impedance and vice versa. Very simple to do these source transformations and you can see this conversion in these simple little circuits, voltage source with the series impedance can be easily converted into a current source with a parallel impedance. These impedances in these two circuits are the same. The only difference is we've got a voltage source and we've got a current source. If you're, so if you are given a voltage source like this, you can convert it into the current source by determining the output of the, of the current source, which is going to simply be the voltage from the voltage source in the other circuit divided by the impedance. Going the other way, if you have a current source, you can convert that into the voltage source where the voltage is going to be equal to your current times your impedance. And then depending on which way you're going, you would just change the nature of your circuit. So I'd like to do a quick example that has this source in series with a 40 ohm resistor and a 30 ohm inductor. So this transformation simply involves figuring out what the current will be. And that current can be determined by taking the voltage and dividing by the total impedance of this resistor plus that inductor. So that current is going to be equal to 50 volts with a phase angle of zero degrees divided by that impedance. It can be easily seen in rectangular coordinates, so it's 40 plus J 30 ohms. Easy to convert that into the polar coordinates, and that works out to 50 ohms with a phase angle of 36.87 degrees. Doing that division gives me an answer, a current of one amp with a phase angle of negative 36.87 degrees. So this circuit where the current is one amp with a phase angle of negative 36.87 degrees in parallel with this impedance, which is going to be the same impedance Forty ohm resistor and a and a thirty ohm a J thirty ohm inductor, the same impedance in parallel with that current source. When a load is connected between these points A and B, that load doesn't care whether it's really a fifty volt source in series with the forty ohm resistor and the thirty ohm inductor, or if it's a current source of one amp with a phase angle of negative thirty six point eight seven degrees in parallel with a forty ohm resistor and a thirty ohm inductor. If I'm going back the other way, if I'm given the current source and I want to go back to the voltage source representation. So I want to go that way. I'm just going to use the same numbers here. My volt, I've got a current source that is one amp with a phase angle of negative 36.87 degrees. It's in parallel with this 40 ohm plus J 30 ohm inductor. To figure out what the voltage would be on this side, that voltage is equal to the current times the total impedance, which is going to be one amp with a phase angle of negative 36.87 degrees times the 50 ohm impedance with a phase angle of 36.87 degrees. Multiply those two together, we get 50 volts with a phase angle of zero degrees. We're back to our original voltage source with the series impedance. So these source conversions or these source transformations from voltage source with series impedance to a current source with a parallel impedance or vice versa are quite simple and they're actually an application of Norton's theorem if you're going from voltage source to current source or Thevenin's theorem if you're going from current source to voltage source. So I hope you learned a little bit in this video and I will see you in the next one.